Change our human disguise, we must. Ha, ah, that was better. Now it's time for the afternoon announcements. Good afternoon, aviators. I'm Ryan. And I'm Garrett. And these are your afternoon announcements. Students, be sure to check your e email about immunization information. If you are not up on your immunization, you will not be able to attend in-person classes after October 30th. The, news, the nurse could also tell you the details of what you have and what you might need. The dentist is coming to school on October 21st and 22nd. If you would like to sign up for a free cleaning, fill out the paper form as soon as possible. East of Chicago Pizza and Subway are hiring. Stop by the guidance office for more information and ask about a work permit if you are under 18 years old. Don't forget, if you need soap, deodorant, toothbrushes, or other health or hygiene items, there are some stations on the second and third floors where you can take what you need. If you are interested in donating items to the station, you can stop by the JTC program to give them items. The swim team is recruiting members. If you are interested in being a part of the swim team, contact Ms. Koonsman. The biggest news item of the week came on Monday afternoon when district administration announced we will be returning to a five-day week in person school at the high school and middle school. This change is the end of the first nine weeks to October 30th, and students will return to, on November 4th with all students who have chosen to be in-person attending. With the return to five days a week, students can also change from all remote to all in-person or all in-person to all remote learning. If you would like to change to being all in person from remote or being all remote from in person, your parents or guardians must fill out the commitment forms posted online. The third annual Pumpkin Palooza will be taking place Sunday, October 25th from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. in the South Lobby back parking lot. Come carve and or paint a pumpkin or just hang out with friends in a completely safe environment. Everything is free to all AHS students. There will be prizes for the best decorated pumpkins and the best Halloween themed PPE. Face masks are required. Sponsored by the Alliance High School FCA, see Mrs. Chunat with any questions. Halloween is around the corner and the City of Alliance is moving forward with Halloween celebration plans. Here's Jarrett in an interview with Mayor Alan Andrini about Halloween. Uh, my name is Jarrett. Uh, I'm from Alliance City Schools, and I'm here with uh, the mayor to talk about Halloween. Um, how are you doing today, Mr. Andriani? I'm very good, sir. How are you? I'm doing good myself. Uh, to start this off, I just want to ask, what went into your decision for this year's Halloween due to COVID? Well, uh, in conjunction with uh, other city officials and with the uh, primarily the health commissioner, we looked at what our options were. Uh, whether or not we would do a, a mass tr trunk or treat for say, say at Silver Park or some other location. And one of our concerns was that we would have such traffic tie ups. Uh, and then when we saw the governor's uh, list of things that we were recommended to do, we thought we could do a nearly traditional trick or treat like we've done in the previous years. And with a few modifications and a few recommendations, we uh, decided to go ahead with that plan. We're just advising caution to everybody given the situation right now. Well, the things first of all people need to remember is when you're going trick or treating, uh, even though you're outside, you still should be wearing a mask. Mm -hmm. uh, and unfortunately, a Halloween mask that goes with your costume really doesn't do anything to protect anyone from, from COVID-19. Yeah. So a mask that would do that and, and protect you is First, the highest recommendation. Second is maintain social distance between uh, home groups. In other words, your family groups. Stay together. Don't go off in groups with people that aren't uh, familiar to you or known to you. Uh, that's the way this transmission occurs. And stay at least six feet apart. When done, uh, be sure you wash your hands. We're also advising, as the governor is, uh, wash down the outside of uh, any treats you receive, the packaging. Uh, don't uh, don't just tie into it and uh, you know you can wash your hands you can purell your hands but then if you touch something that's touched something like a wrapper you could have a problem and then the final question everybody wants to know 
What do you think about Lion City schools going back full time? Well, one of the things that I uh, I thought about, and I, I I talked to Ms. Shar about this, oh maybe a month or so ago when the schools were uh, just starting mm-hmm. to look at going back. I think I think the way the Lion schools are doing it is is a good way. Uh, I think what we've learned is the value of in person education. It's very hard to do this over over a uh, over a virtual type of a method, and sooner or later we've got to go back to school. Mm-hmm. And what I think is we need to make sure that those uh, prevention methods are in. We know what they are. They've been around for over a hundred years: mass, uh, six foot distancing, mm-hmm. and washing of hands at, at the least, or sanitizing. So I think the schools are in a good position to uh, be able to do that. Uh, my understanding from uh, Superintendent Grass is November 4th is the target date. Mm-hmm. And we're hopeful everybody can get back and uh, get into the stream of things. And if you do have any symptoms at all, a fever, cough, don't come to school. Yeah. Everybody's okay with that. Yeah. Uh, and having been a former superintendent and principal and teacher, uh, it's amazing because schools can have a lot of transmission. Mm-hmm. So what we want everybody to do is be safe because you can't learn anything if you're not well and you're not safe. And now here's Joe Pennington with the sports recap. And welcome back to Repinet A, and we have an all-star lineup, some potential MVP candidates, some POY player of the year candidates. So let's get started. First up, Keegan, come on up here, Keegan. Keegan was nominated by a couple of middle school teachers. This is the first one, uh, Mrs. Burwell and Mrs. Stoffer. And they said that Keegan brought $100 of his hard-earned money to donate to a fundraiser for Siriana Williamson, who is a middle school student uh, battling cancer. Keegan, that is amazing. $100 of your own money. That's a sacrifice, but to a great cause. Congratulations, and thank you for repping that A. I can't thank you enough. So thanks, Keegan. Next up, Bondoni, Caitlin Bondoni. She was nominated by Mrs. Barnes. Mrs. Barnes said, Caitlin found a debit card lying in the hallway. She immediately turned it into her. I uh, had her take it to the office. This is typical of the way Caitlin operates, always with a great deal of integrity. She deserves to receive a rep in that A. I agree, Caitlin. That's awesome. Thank you. And you are rep in that A. Next up, sir. No, Brandon Alexander. Brandon was nominated by Mr. Richardson. Mr. Richardson said that, that Brandon helped clean, uh, stack, and organize chairs when they were left out without even being asked. And that's what rep in that that A is all about. It's about doing the right thing when no one is watching. So Brandon, thanks, good luck tonight. And you rep that A. Cheyenne Craig, come on down. Nominated by Mrs. Collins. Cheyenne, Mrs. Collins said, Cheyenne is an amazing student to have. She is one of the kindest, sweetest individuals I know. She's positive and uplifting to so many people around her. She puts others before herself and is very compassionate. Uh, so this comes through when I interact, when I see her interacting with her peers and, and myself. She truly encompasses every part of that word, and she is just a joy to have in class. Man, Mrs. Collins thinks very highly of you. That's great, Cheyenne. Thanks for repping that, A. Eh? And then Dylan Baguera, get up here. And Dylan, another senior, another senior here. I told you this was an all-star cast. Uh, and Dylan Baguera was nominated. It says anonymous. I don't know. Uh, hopefully it's not the anonymous on social media. That's a little creepy. Uh, but someone said that you are always willing to help other students and you come to class with a positive attitude every day. And that's great, Dylan. I love to see that, especially out of our seniors. And you rep that A. And if that PA announcer screws up your name tonight, I'm going to say something to him, all right? Good luck tonight. Uh, and there's one more. A student is not here. It's Levi Cameron. And Levi says, this, he was nominated by Mr. Peters his welding instructor, and he said, Levi has done an outstanding job of helping myself as a new teacher. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, we had a fire drill. I pulled Levi to the side and asked him to help me out uh, with the drill, and he said, absolutely, Mr. Peters, I got this for you. He briefly exp- explained to me where our career tech welding class goes and volunteered to lead the juniors to the tennis court. And in the meantime, he grabbed his roster sheets, locked the doors, and did a full sweep of the lab uh, to the tennis courts to proceed. Levi's done an outstanding job, and he's helped uh, on a couple of occasions with assisting the juniors and help on welding tips and tricks 
and fielding questions on expectations coming out of, of the seniors. Uh, he always maintains an upbeat, positive attitude, and as always offers assistance and is a pleasure to teach. So thank you, Levi. Again, I told you, this was another great group of students at Rep in that A. You are seeing that they are doing the right thing when no one is watching, they are supporting others, and they have a positive, upbeat attitude. Thanks, and rep, let's continue to Rep that A. In sports, the volleyball team played Warren Harden in one, verse, one in three. The scores were 28 to 26, 25 to 22, and 24 to 14. The dig leader was Reese Grise with 30, kill leader was also Reese Grise with 25, and the assist leader was Emma Reese with 30. The next game is tonight at Carrollton. In football, the football team lost Friday night versus Hubbard in a very close hard fought game. This game will end their season. Cross country ran at Tuslaw over, over the weekend. The boys took fourth out of 11 and Kyler Cameron ran a personal best. The girls took ninth out of 10 and they will run next at Salem in the EBC race. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Now it's probably time to get back to our normal form. Mm -hmm.